All right, today we are in InDesign and we are going to be looking at visual alignment. So if you um, see this box of text, we have Forged by the Fearless. And the stems of the F, the B, and the F, you can see they're pretty much aligned and that's just by the um, automatic settings that we have for this type. However, if you look at the fearless, you see that the strong visual line here that aligns the F, the B, and the F, when it comes to the T, the stem is offset. And it does look like there's been some movement, right? The T has a little bit um, of uh, overlap from the F, but I think that um, the stronger alignment would be if the stem of the T was aligned with the F. So this is how to show you in InDesign how you would change and um, do some hand alignment in your text. So if I triple click, I have all of the lines in my box of text. And I'm using the paragraph window, which can be accessed from window type paragraph. You can see it's already checked. All right, so the first one in, if I kind of hover, you can see it's a left indent, and it is showing the entire line of text. That's what this icon means. So if I indent it by 0 0.0625, now I have space that I can pull a single line up to 0 0.0625 out. So now I could come to the, and if I go negative, so that's the down, you can see it now moves and I could move it up to the amount that I have here. So if I'm looking, I can put my words lined up with my guide, which I clicked and dragged from my ruler. And I can see it's not quite aligned yet. I can reselect it. Um, let's say I do nine here. Grab my first and then I could do up to the same amount. And I can see it's just about there, right? If I zoom in, some of this is a little hand. Um, tedious. So for both of these, instead of nine, maybe I just do one and then my top, I could do so you can see that, um, You can really get into the details and in general we'll say this is good enough it's off just a little bit um, but what this is to show you is that when you are designing and you're looking for where you can align things the same beautiful alignments that you would get from a capital letter that all have the same bottom and the same top or your X height when you're working with your lowercase letters you can create that um, vertically uh, with just a little bit of adjustments in your paragraph um, left indent and first line or whichever line has the letter that you want the stem to be aligned and not the edge of the letter.